Today, large waves like the Kriver off Newquay's Town Head are a mecca for surfers wanting to take on big surf. During the 19th century, in the days of sail, a storm with huge waves lashing the shore were a terrifying prospect to mariners. Cornwall's north coast has always been a danger to shipping in the days of sail, with little availability for a harbour of refuge during these storms. The only alternative was to either try to outrun the storm or beach the vessel on a sandy beach. As numerous historic documents and images testify, both alternatives were often unsuccessful, leading to the loss of the vessel and the lives of the crew. People on holiday or those that frequent second homes in Cornwall during the summer months may not appreciate the storms of battered coastal communities around the coast during the winter. The waves crashing into Port Levin are iconic. The harbour at Mullion has needed ongoing extensive repairs and the harbour at St Agnes was washed away many, many years ago. The image of the North Quay at Newquay Harbour with a gaping hole from 1889 is well known. J.T. Trefry, after purchasing the manor of Town Blistra in 1838, then endeavoured to make Newquay a place of refuge for shipping. The existing harbour was tidal and not ideally placed, therefore an alternative was planned further out on Town Head. Vessels would often shelter in the lee of Town Head in the Gazel during the northwesterly storm. Trefry's plan was to construct a harbour on the east side of Town Head with a cut through to the Gazel so ships could shelter in the new harbour of refuge or make their way down to the existing harbour. Building commenced in early 1848 and huge granite blocks were brought into position. These were transported from Trefry's quarry at Luxullion on the mineral tramway to Newquay Harbour and then by flat bottom boats across the Gazel, then being hoisted by derricks onto wagons. Once the piers were completed, the narrow isthmus would be cut making the town head an island and allowing ships to pass through to the Gazel, thereby making a large sheltered tide-free harbour. Apparently the main pier was completed and blasting had commenced in the centre of the harbour area to deepen it. However, in January 1850, Trefry caught pneumonia and died. With him, so did the Harbour of Refuge. Over the coming decades, storms battered what had been completed and the structure was gradually destroyed. Little now remains. Many blocks have been removed and used elsewhere and the tall wall that youngsters played and climbed on for over a century into the 1960s was eventually blown up for safety reasons. Further plans were drawn up in 1906 to create the pier on the North Cornish coast as a refuge for shipping. This was to be situated at a number of possible sites including Newquay, but as sail had given way to larger steam vessels and steam engines had become more efficient, it was ultimately deemed harbours of refuge were no longer required.